In addition to the workspaces that you can choose up here, you can also choose different options for the tools and the color of the interface. And that's helpful if you prefer, for example, black text on a white background. You can go into the Customize menu in 3ds Max to Custom UI and Defaults Switcher. On the left are the default settings for, for example, what type of light you will create or what kind of materials will be populated in the default material editor or whether objects will have their properties derived by layer or not. And that's the tool settings over here. I'm going to leave that at max, which is the default. Over on the right, you have your color schemes. And we're looking at the default color scheme now. I'm going to actually leave it at the default color scheme for this course. But if you wished, you could switch it over to a light colored interface by choosing AME light here. And then once that's done, you can click the set button. And it will take a moment to load all the icons. And your screen is going to flash, but don't panic. That just means 3ds Max is loading everything up. And it says here, default settings will take effect the next time you restart. They're talking about these settings, the tool settings. So the tool settings will not take effect until the next time you restart. But as you can see, the interface has changed. Now we've got a light colored interface. I'm just going to switch that back. Customize, custom UI, and default switcher. Choose default and click set. And once again, now we're back to our default 3ds Max interface.